Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Andretta. It's good to see you. <laughs> um, so as you can see, this is the pivot poll. And I'd like to welcome you to our first um, conversation. Um, tonight, we are going to um, talk about something that um, kind of evolved um, between Andretta and I. We've been friends for a, um, a long time. We've lost count on how long we've been friends, but we have, um, through conversation, been, um, I've been on the other end of trying to figure out if the way that th I experienced things was typical or not. <laughs> um, so tonight we decided to talk about um, family experiences. Um, were they typical or are they not typical? So I'm hoping that by the time we finish this, um, tonight, um, somebody will be able to tell tell us if um, you know if this is typical or not, and possibly if somebody needs to pivot. And it's usually me, but we're gonna see tonight. <laughs> we're gonna see tonight. Um, so, how this started is that um, one day, Andretta and I were talking, and this was early on, and um our um uh, friendship and we were talking about uh you know growing up and your parents and things of that nature and i happened to mention that my mother and my aunt went to boarding school so she took a pause and boarding boarding school I said, yes, my, my mom and my aunt went to boarding school. My grandmother chose to send them to boarding school. And she's like, that is not, that ain't typical. That ain't right. That's not, no, no. And I'm like, well, that's how, that's my experience. Um, so we went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And, and she still swears to this day that that's not typical um, experience. Am I correct, Andretta, with that? That's, that's, that's correct. That's correct, everybody. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never heard of that before. So we're here to talk about talk about uh, family experiences and, and if, if you know, if it's typical or not. I, you know, I, I need to hear from somebody besides the two of us to find out if, uh, if Heather's experiences are typical because I don't think they were. They were typical. They were <laughs> typical. I mean, and actually, I recently asked my aunt what happened about that. And my grandmother chose to send them away to boarding school. I thought growing up that that was kind of the typical thing to do with um, with with your kids, I guess. Um, I never went to boarding school, but I don't think it's too far fetched to believe that people go to boarding school. How is that wrong? I, I don't think it's wrong. I think it's far fetched to think it's typical because I do not think I don't know anybody who went to boarding school besides. Yeah, and, yeah, and then we get into those conversations. I don't know nobody. Nobody, not a soul. Like I don't know anybody in my, especially like immediate family, immediate family, you know, friends you know, Ancestry.com, like nobody in the DNA that I, that I know or anybody that I know went to boarding school. Like that is totally to me, not a typical um, experience that people have growing up. So for me, I feel like anybody who can say that their parents went to boarding school, their mother, their aunt, I just, that's not something that I've ever heard of. I will honestly say you are the first person that I know of who, ever 
um, described having an experience of having people in their family that went to boarding school. I don't think that's what regular people do. See, here that's we go. Here we go. See, and this is how we get into these debates because then she says that's I'm not right. it's the regular. No. It's the regular. Right. So Miss Chandler said, okay, thanks, Miss Chandler. She said, I never knew anybody who went to boarding school. <laughs> it's been started. We it's 905. We already I want to know if, See, if let me say this if anyone in your family attended boarding school i want to know about it if anybody in your whole family tree anybody ancestry dna family associates if you know somebody that went to boarding school you went to boarding school your aunt went to boarding school somebody. your mama's brothers cousins sisters uh associate went to board i want to know because i've never heard I ain't heard of nobody yet. You the first one, but Heather thinks that that's normal. And we're here to prove that that's not normal at all. That I people, think it's normal. People, that's something I you think see it's on normal people. depending on your situation. As my aunt explained what, it to what, me, what, is what, what, the what, situation what, is that <laughs> the situation <laughs> is that back then the educational system wasn't the best for African Americans. So my grandmother so, and so, grandfather took it upon themselves to send their daughters to boarding school to get a better education. So, okay. I understand that. And I'm, I'm okay. So I understand the reason would have been that the school system was not the best. Okay. So to me, you were in the upper echelon. If you got a private school education, that's called send your kids to private school. Okay, so for those of you who were blessed to go, I went to public school. <laughs> I went to public school. So, no, so if anybody's on here from Columbus, Ohio, where I was born, there was a group of kids that got to go to Sunshine Christian Academy. I, she talks know, about that. I, I got a soul hurt. I got. <laughs> I have a spirit soul hurt about the fact that all the kids at the church went to Sunshine Christian yeah. Academy. I didn't get to go. I was in public school. So the best that anybody that. the best that anybody could have done for anybody at that point was to send them to private school. Okay, so way more typical than boarding school, Heather. That's all okay, I'm saying. So this is really gonna help, but not help my it's cousin. Not gonna help. Said my mom went to boarding school. So my cousin's mother Who went to that? boarding school. Who's that? <laughs> Where are these comments being made? Because I don't. Okay, here they are. I Thank see you, it. Janet. Okay, Janet. Janet. My mom yes. went to boarding school. Well, Janet, pray. Okay, and Janet, are you from where Heather's from? That's my cousin. Yes, it happens to be my cousin. Okay. So this is a regional thing. Okay, so I have one. Susan, hello, welcome. I never knew anybody who went to boarding school either, and Janet. <laughs> I guess you're from where Heather's from because yes. you're the second person that I know who went to boarding school. Who, first of all, who could afford boarding school? Like, who was paying for their kids to go to boarding school? Um, somebody saying they can't see you all. She says, it's I can't see you all. Janet's, Janet's sister. Um, I'm not sure, Miss Rita. Um, <laughs> I usually do serve as a technical support on most things, but I don't know how to do it this time. So, but. yes, she says she lives in Gainesville, Florida. So, you know, maybe that was a Floridian thing or something because up in, up in, up in the Midwest, Columbus, Ohio, we packed our bags. First of all, we packed, we didn't even get a ride to school. <laughs> we, we got on them, the, the, them feet. Uh, walked onto the schoolhouse with the book bag and the, that's when we had the crosswalk people yes. who actually had a job and crosswalked you from one street to one street. We walked yes. to public school. That's well, what we did. So I'm feeling like, okay, yes, I can see that a person would say, hey, the education is not that great. Let's yes. go ahead and put them in private school. But yeah, now I know two people, Heather and Janet. <laughs> Janet's mom went. Yep. See, that's where they went. They went to Boylan Haven School for Girls. That's oh, where they went on. to school. Come on now, people. Come on, people. Come I'm on. I'm just people. saying. Come on, people. Come on I'm now. I'm just saying. That's, that's not typical at all. The, the, the thing is, is it typical? Is it typical that people were, I don't, 
I've been living for 45 years and I don't know anybody besides you. And today, Janet has now been added to, <laughs> to the list. People who went to boarding school. Like that's something okay. you see on TV. Okay, so let me, school let me ask this question yes. to Janet and yes. to Rita. Janet and Rita, did you all know anybody go who growing up that went to boarding school? Yes or no? Janet said her mom. Janet said her mom. I know, but I'm saying outside of our our family, did no. did you know anyone else who went to to no. to? Uh, uh, how you gonna answer for it? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I just no. I need to know how you gonna answer for. Her. <laughs> I just think that you know, for me growing up, that that was what they experienced and as a result that's kind of what i experienced i didn't go to boarding school i went to public school all my years of schooling outside of preschool you know that was a different story but i never went to um to a to a private um school hey terrence terrence thanks for for watching terrence question do you know anybody in mississippi who went to a boarding school Yes or no? Mm. Did anybody in your family no, attend no. boarding school? No, 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 no. He doesn't. How? Terrence doesn't know anybody. Okay. How come it yes, seems to be? <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the next person to get on here and say they know somebody. Or I'm just gonna have to get. I just. I'm not gonna know what to do if I lose this poll. I'm. <laughs> This, this is a poll that was supposed to be in the bag for me. Mama oh, said, oh. said that her mom threatened to send her and she needed to <laughs> love. <laughs> yeah, and but then, you know what? Because think about it. There's a movie thing. I watch it, the movies. That's where you went when you needed tough love to boarding school. Like that's the, that's the, that's the narrative. You watch True. the movie, the kid gets in trouble, they come home, their bags are packed, they get in the car, and they ship them off to boarding school. Like, that's only in the movies. But now, it's reality since I met you. Terrence says no. Thanks, Terrence. So no. nobody went to... Okay, so Terrence, Piney Woods wouldn't be considered boarding school in uh -uh, right outside of Jackson. See, wait a minute. I don't know. No, I don't see. The evidence has not been given to the, the defense so that I can review said evidence. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about right now. No. So you're no. pretty much telling me that it's not typical. Not outside. <laughs> that it's not typical that um, you go to boarding school. No, no, it's not. That's not typical, Heather. That's not typical. Private school, yes. You might get. I'm gonna give you private school. I'm gonna give. I'm said. I'm sorry, Heather. Does piney <laughs> piney woods? Because what I think, piney woods? What's piney woods? Piney woods is a school in Mississippi. It's not a. It's a private school, but it's outside of Jackson, like way outside of Jackson. But I don't know if that's considered a boarding school. Well, they live there. I believe they do live there. I think they you live know, there. I think we're on the border with that one. I, I think we can't give that to you. I don't think we can we can do that. Um, no, I don't know of it. I need to look it up. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you need I'm, to look I'm, it up. I'm uh -huh. positive about what's happening right now. So what? yeah, boarding school. No, that's a no. No boarding school uh, for you, Heather. No, I'm sorry. Well, we're about equal to be honest with that. But but uh, we don't have the population of people voting on here tonight to solidify the fact that that's definitely. Not, not typical. typical. Okay. Okay. So, no. so as conversations go and as conversations go on, you know how you get to know people. Uh-huh. Yep. We did go to college with somebody who went to Pontywood. Woods. So I think Pontywood Woods counts, but we're going to put it in the category of not sure since somebody on here says you got to do some research. Yeah, we don't know. Pontywood. Woods. Thank you. See, thank you. Thank you. No, that's rich people stuff. Thank you. On the movies. On the movie, Savannah. Yes. Savannah. That is not rich people stuff. Yes, it is. Yes, anyway. it is. Anyhow. <laughs> Savannah. Anyhow. Yes, it is. So as 
time progressed in our friendship, um, mm -hmm. you know, you get to you get to know people and you get to in and talk to them and see how they've lived and how you've lived and things of that nature. And well, I can remember you. one time us going to dinner. We went to eat somewhere and um, I sat down. She sat down. We ordered our food and they brought the food out and I waited. I waited. Oh, Jesus. oh so we doing that tonight? Oh, so we going to expose people? Okay. 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 I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. I waited and Andretta didn't quite, Did. didn't quite wait. Not quite. And she looked at me like, well, what you waiting? <laughs> what you waiting on? <laughs> I said, well, I'm sorry. It, you know, it, it was just customary for me to wait until everybody was ready to eat and then we can eat. And she's like, where you, where you learn that at? And yeah, then, wait. you know, we, we moved on a little bit and then she noticed that I picked up a fork on this area and then a fork at that. And she kept looking at me like, what are you doing? I don't try. I, I knew some of it. You're trying to be ugly to me now. You're I trying to be ugly. ugly. I'm going to be ugly. So I go said, ahead, ahead. I, don't I, it said I, I, learned, I learned table etiquette when I was a debutante. Debutante. She almost choked. Debutante. On, on her water. She debutante. said, oh, oh. A debutante? A debutante? <laughs> a debutante? A I debutante? said, yeah, I, I was a I was a debutante. She, I looked she, at her and I said, a debut you were a, I don't I, I don't know no black people who were debutantes. Oh, oh wait, okay. What I said was I wasn't I don't know anybody who was a debutante. A deb. I was a deb. I was a deb. <laughs> See? I was a Deb. First of all, she didn't say debutante. She said, I was a Deb. And I said, what do you mean, Deb? 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 <laughs> what? What do you mean? And she says, well, I was a Deb, debutante. So I'm like, and I didn't know what a debutante was. <laughs> so but, I I but I didn't know any. I didn't know any. That's what... Going to Ben, ladies. Yes, yes, yes. So we all. So I explained to her what a debutante was. Yes, we were taught table etiquette at Tougaloo. Yes, this is true. This is true too. I told her what a debutante was and that we were presented and we had a ball and, you know, we were presented to society and that my mother was a member of this social group and that made me things worse. Um, <laughs> your mother was a member of a who, <laughs> um, so in my experience growing right. up, right. I knew, I mean, on, I can't count fingers and toes of how many people I knew who were debutantes. My mother was a Deb. I believe See? that my aunt might've been a Deb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was a debutante. I have a mm -hmm. cousin who was a debutante. Mm -hmm. So that was my experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to this day, she says she still only knows one debutante. And that is Heather. And that's me. And, and I will say, okay, now I know more than one by way of my sons who yes. went to the debutante ball. Yes. Okay? But for us, I'm trying to figure out where I grew up because <laughs> so I, did, I did not. We, I had never even really heard of a debutante. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. I never heard of a debutante. I knew the word, I knew kind of what it was, but I didn't know anybody. The closest thing that we had to debutante ball of any kind was prom. You went to prom, that was your presentation. A crossing over was you getting your license, you got your license, <laughs> you got to drive, and that was your crossing and presentation into the world. We did not, I did not know any debutantes. I did not know anybody who went through the, you know, the crossing over. And I thought it was beautiful once she told me about it and kind of told me what they learned and yes. things like that. But I just, we, prom, you got to dress up for prom and get your hair beautified and your makeup beautified. And depending on who you were, your mama made your dress. <laughs> 
your mama might have had to make your dress and you know, or you, you know, some you know, I'm just saying, you know, it was new for me. So no, I don't I don't know that many debutantes. I know personally Heather. And so, that's it. So I, I didn't feel like that was typical. And see, and for me, As, that was typical. For me, right. that was typical because I grew up around a lot of people who who were Debs. So my question is, do you know anybody who was a debutante? Or were you a Deb? Or were you a debutante? Or were you a debutante? Do you know anyone who was a debutante? And or did you escort anybody to the debutante ball? So tell us your experience with with being a debutante, please tell me somebody on here was a deb. Please, well, Jesus. I'm kind of feeling like this is a loaded gun tonight because <laughs> we seem to be all of your people on here that know about boarding school and debutante balls. Oh, so now it's my fault. Yes, yeah, Florida. Florida's on the pivot pole tonight. Florida, <laughs> I need some Ohioans and some. And some other folk on here too now. I need the other people on here because I feel like I'm I'm being ambushed tonight. You're not being ambushed. I'm just saying. No, I I don't think that's typical. I just I don't think everybody experiences that. I think for the most part, I'm just speaking from a general large view perspective. I do not think that most people were debutantes. I think some people were, but I don't think it's typical because the question is, is it typical? Is it and typical? I, don't, I don't think it's typical. I don't think, but for you, it was typical for your yes. surroundings. But that's your surroundings though. And I think that's, uh, and and see, um, uh, Terrence Robinson said his, his daughter, daughter was Miss Debutante. Thank you, Terrence. And yes. Jan, see? see what I'm saying? That's this, it's just Terrence and Janet from, from <laughs> <laughs> Where is Sammy? Oh, we need to get some invites going or something and diversify. <laughs> Hi, Sammy. Nice. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Hi, everybody. You know, no. I, I just need no. That's not. I just no. <laughs> so yeah, I get this. So on this particular poll tonight, I realized that you know from your area, yeah, the people what? you know. Terrence is not from Florida. He's from Mississippi. But you met him at Tougaloo. Yes. Right. <laughs> That's a whole. We're not even gonna go there. We're not going there. We're not going there tonight. <laughs> no, no, that's not. I, I'm, you know, that, you know, I don't, you know. So no. you think that that's not typical? No, I don't. I honestly don't because I think for the most part, first of all, as you explained to me, and this is just my perspective. You explained mm -hmm. it to me that debutante was a, you know, a lengthy kind of a process. It cost yes. lots of money. It did. Yeah. I mean, so your family had to have the kind of money to do something like that. You know, I mean, for the most part, I think people, everybody everywhere doesn't have that kind of freedom to go to boarding school and to be a debutante like that. No, you get prom money. You get school clothes. <laughs> You don't get to start up a debutante ball and go <laughs> cut your hair at the hairdresser when your mom told you no. But yeah, she that, did. Yeah, yes, yeah, she did. She um, did. So you know, I just, I just don't think that that's typical. But I think for, and I think this is all kind of leading to, you know, knowing that your surroundings, who you grew up with, it kind of. Um, it, it guides your horizons, it guides your perspective, what you see, what you feel, what you feel like is typical, what you're exposed to, because I just was not exposed to, you know, debutantes in boarding school. That's just, that, that sounds like something, you know, now I will say as an adult woman with my sons going to school where they are, yes, they've been to the debutante ball. Yes. Okay, so it wasn't unfamiliar when I heard debutante. I went, Oh, debutante, there they are again. Yes. Um, so I'm not, I just don't think it's a, I don't think it's a typical experience. That's all I'm saying. It's just not typical. And, you know, for me, I just think we were, you know, the people in my area were just, and I don't, I can't, I can't say what other people are because they're on here, but I'll say this 
I know prom was a big deal. That's what they did was prom, but they weren't taught, you know, es you know, that's your escort. You get escort to prom, eighth grade prom or whatever, school dance, something like that. But that's, that's the, that's the biggest, that's the biggest that's the experience. Biggest absolutely. Absolutely. There was no Deb. There was no Debs involved. Uh, see, see. Come on now. What do you say, Janet? It's not, let's it's own not. our slice. Come on now, Janet. Come, come forward, Janet, and speak. See, thank you, Janet. Because even though Janet just really helped you out, Heather, she told the truth right there. That's privilege. Y'all had a y'all y'all was low on the upper upper side. Now, come on, you know, <laughs> this Janet, is, I don't Janet, think that. You need to call, is this your cousin? Is this That's your my cousin? cousin. Yes. Janet, you need to call your friend because she doesn't think that way. She says I that don't. typical. That wasn't anything. I mean, that was normal. No, it wasn't. It wasn't normal. It wasn't normal at all. I just not at that, all. But I just I don't think it's privilege though. I don't think that I don't think that it's 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 a it's privilege. What is it? What it's is just it? A, I mean, what, just a, what word would you use? Experience. It's just your experience. I, <laughs> I don't think that it's privilege. I just don't. I'll have to think about that and, and really, uh, you know, because yeah. I think yeah. it is. Yeah, let's think that about was a it. privilege to be able to do that. Okay, so you know if you think that? if you think that that was a privilege, then let's let's take this one off for size. Okay. So, what is again, as our relationship just grew, and you know, we um, you know talked and got to mm -hmm. really know each other, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we happened to mention. Mm -hmm. Something about traveling because I like to travel. Uh -huh. Yeah, I That's love okay. traveling. I've been traveling, and I thought about it this morning. I've been traveling since I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. So I am now 47, mm -hmm. and or soon to be 48 or something like that. And I've mm -hmm. been traveling for a long time. So we mm -hmm. talked, and and we were talking about you know going places. I said, "Well, have you been here?" And she's like, mm -hmm. "No." I said, "Have you been there?" And no, I'm like, well, have you been there? No. And she looked at me. She said, so have you been? I said, yeah. Well, have you? Yeah. And then the the, the cherry on top, I said, I've, I've been to the Bahamas a few times. The only place I've been is the family reunion. That's hey, that, that's not your part. Stick to your part. Talk uh, a vacation. Stick to your part. Stick to your part. So here's so, the deal. Here's the deal. No, because she stepped off in my part. So now I'm here. Let I'm me say saying. this. Let me say this. Heather went on vacation every year and every sometimes year. more than once a year. Yeah. Overseas, all around. That was not my experience. We did not go on vacation. Our vacation was the family <laughs> reunion. <laughs> like, we uh, had family I mean, reunions too. I need to diversify this crowd. Or y'all need to speak up. I don't know how many people watching this, but my experience was the family reunion. Our vacation was traveling down south to the family reunion. Come on here. I, I let, let me pull out the scripture on this or something because it got to be a family family reunion scripture somewhere. What I'm saying is. We didn't we didn't get on planes and go out of state. Um, see, Janet, normal and expected for us. Greek life in the fam. See, no, we didn't do that. We we got OK. My grandmother was frying chicken, <laughs> putting it in aluminum foil with the little. I don't know. Anybody remember them? Those canisters that you could press down? Yes. Yes. And they had Coffee and it was two of them. You was real good if you had two, like the coffee in one and the orange juice in the other one. But that was, that was never for the kids. It was for the one who was driving. Like so, the kids we didn't get that. We got ham and turkey sandwiches. Yes. But they got the chicken and yes. and all stuff and the loaf of bread and the chips and stuff. That that yes. was what we piled up in the middle of the night. And we traveled to Alabama or we traveled to North or South Carolina. That's what we did once a year. I didn't yeah. start going anywhere until I met Heather. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't start we, traveling like that. No, we went to family. We had family reunions, Janet. Didn't we have family reunions? But we also traveled. My mom 
traveled. I think growing up, she traveled. Um, okay, all righty, Mr. Benefield. So your job after college introduced you to traveling church conferences. Yes, that was the closest things to a vacation. Yes. See, so we weren't, I mean, I, I don't recall that. I don't recall that. I'm just saying that if you were, if y'all were going on ships and in the, in the Bahamas and then yes. and every year, more than one time a year, I consider that to be non-typical. That's not a typical, I don't think it's typical because I, I'm just not going from my own perspective, but I'm looking at the people around me, like my family members, my mom, my aunts, my grandmother, their sisters. It was the family reunion. That was a big deal. Getting involved, getting in the van or getting the car or going in, everybody trailing it down the alley. Yes, yes. With hot chicken in the back and aluminum foil. That, <laughs> that's what we did. So I was totally unfamiliar with this concept. And I, I kind of have told Heather, you know, to in her defense, I guess since I'm a defend something, I wish I would have met her sooner because my eyes were just not open to it. You know, I felt like, you know, you, you travel when you have to, you nip funerals and family reunions. That's when you get in the car, but never just leisurely spending money and, uh, and, and stuff like that. So no, that wasn't my oh, experience. God. He said it's a form of privilege. I'm tired of the word privilege. Come on now. Can Come on now. Can privilege die? <laughs> oh, privilege. No. Come on. I mean, <laughs> we did. We went. We went on vacations every year. Um, maybe once or twice a year sometimes. Yes. And your mom, you told me that your mom would have one or two. She'd take you guys on, and then, and then she'd she go would, by herself. Oh, and she would go by oh, herself. Man. Like that's three vacations. Like <laughs> we're going to college now. We may not be able to eat. Like <laughs> somebody what is said Glory it? Said, hey Glory V. It says it wasn't typical for us, probably vacationed every two years growing up in Puerto Rico. But once my sisters were born, which is a 10, 11 year difference, it didn't happen anymore. Yeah. Right, I, right. I right. understand that. I, I understand that. People, for most people, and then you know, and then here's my people right here. You know what, Savannah. <laughs> you know what, Savannah? Yeah, because you just, you just, it just didn't, it didn't go down like that for us. Like, and I, I'm thinking about even the people I knew. Like, it was rare for me to hear somebody say, "Oh, me and my family, we're going on vacation. We're flying out of town. We're going, you know, we're flying to Cancun and we're getting on a cruise and we're going." No, they came, they came back from the family reunion on Sunday. To be back at school on Monday. Monday. <laughs> there was no, you know, it just it just wasn't that. That's not how it worked for uh, for us. And they would put the cooler in the back with the ice and put the yes. Shasta. You remember Shasta? Oh my did God! They, yes. Wait, red red. Drink, wait a minute, Heather. Did you drink Shasta, dear? I did drink Shasta. Oh, you drank Shasta. What about Chet? You drank the little the, the Chet. Oh, you had you had none of that. On occasion, you had no check. <laughs> you know what? You're on fast. occasion. So I was I the only person drinking Shasta then. I, okay, I, I don't think he was that the was only. The that was the cookout soda. Y'all know was. Was pop where we called it pop where I came from. Yeah, we called it soda it down south. That was the cookout pop. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. everybody had the Shasta of many of many flavors. Win Dixie, come on through here, Charles Benefield. <laughs> Win Dixie. Yes, indeed. Yes. Grape. <laughs> you just call colors. The right. purple one, the red. Purple, purple red. <laughs> yes. Come on through. That's how it was, Heather. I mean, you, 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 I, it, it, yeah, yeah, I can't even. So, so do you all feel that vacations were typical? Yes or no? And how often did your family go on vacation? Do you feel that this was a typical thing? <laughs> Terrence said, I want a pop. <laughs> I want a Shasta. I know, right? Where the Shasta at? Where the I know, right? Shasta. Exactly. And it's, in the it's extra cold. And it's good. I need to go get Shasta tomorrow. Right now. <laughs> I need some Shasta tomorrow. Like I exactly. have a I guess I done moved on and I can buy the good drink. 
I guess I can afford the good drink now and I don't go get Shasta. Exactly. Like, no, no. Exactly. Y'all got me upset. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let's see. No. Mr. Benefield, just don't do the cola grape was okay. And orange. Yeah. School was my vacation. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So school was your vacation from farm work. Okay. See? Okay. Okay. So I, I guess it's not typical. I don't think it's typical. I don't think it's typical, Heather. I, I'm, I really don't. We're just having fun. I, we're just having fun. But, you know, I don't think that's typical because I don't think and I think for especially I, mean, I hate to break it up to like African-American experience or whatever. But it's true. I don't think for the most part. I don't hardly know anybody that got to go on a real vacation. Vacation was somebody died. Or, or we're going to the family reunion. I understand. In the going down south somewhere. Okay. That's, okay. that's what it was in my mind. Okay. So Terrence says, not for me. We went out of town every few years. Okay. Hi, Jackie Matthews. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Jackie you. Matthews. Wait, Jackie Matthews? Yeah, that's my yeah. aunt right there. Oh. Exactly. Hey, uh, you know we went to the family reunion. I got a picture of me picking cotton in Alabama. Come on here now. Oh, thank goodness. So, <laughs> so, so, yes. Miss Jackie, the question is: Do you think that vacations were typical? Did your family go on vacations every year? Every year All on right. a vacation. Come on now, Come Mr. On. Charles. Mr. Charles says it's atypical at best. <laughs> Hello, laugh out loud. Oh, and Jackie, come on now through here. And Jackie, you know, you know, we was in the in the cars traveling to Alabama. Now, and Jackie was in the military, so she traveled a lot. But mm -hmm. night, night. Oh, good night, Janet. Thank you for joining us. And Jackie said, uh, "Thank you, Janet, for joining us. Thank you, thank you." Uh, and Jackie said, "Not at all. No, we didn't. We didn't go at all." Not at all. No vacations. None. See? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? No yeah. vacations. Yeah. No. Well, no. I mean, I, we never, I don't know. So I guess it's not typical. It's not typical. Okay. It's not. Okay. 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 Just like I think another thing is not typical that I'm going to introduce because, you know, we, we had a lot of conversations in this recent conversation that we had. And I just it's got to be something about environment or where you who you around. I don't know. But we were talking about like Thanksgiving dinner and Easter Sunday dinner. Yeah. Yes, we were. And and for me, uh-uh, uh-uh, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. For me, Thanksgiving dinner sounded something like turkey, ham, macaroni and cheese, dressing. See, there you go. I see you. He talking about six flags. Right, exactly. <laughs> six flags. One day trip to six flags. Yes. That's, that's yeah. right. That's about that's about right. We went to King's Island. The church did take us to King's Island in Ohio <laughs> during the summer. And Wyandotte Lake. But <laughs> you know, Thanksgiving used to be stuff like, you know, ham and turkey and dressing. Yes. And you know, greens and yes. mac and cheese. Yes. And on Easter Sunday, we kind of ate the same kind of dinner growing up where, yes. you know, everybody was in the kitchen. It smelled good. And this past Easter, Heather says to me, oh, um, we used to have lamb and mint jelly on yes. Easter. Yes. Lamb and mint jelly. Lamb I and mint jelly. We're supposed to worship the lamb. We're supposed to eat like that on, on Easter Sunday. It's supposed to be some, 
some turkey and some dressing and some stuff back in the day. I don't remember ever having lamb. Come on now, Terrence, and 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 some and some mint jelly. We so, had, I, and it I, wasn't I every, had, it it wasn't every oh, holiday, but we did have it. We did. We had lamb and mint jelly. Okay, well that's and good. We, what what did y'all have? Did you did you have pumpkin pie? I, I did. Okay, I had pumpkin pie. <laughs> Not the mint jelly. <laughs> no, mint jelly and lamb, like on Easter when yes. we were worshiping the well, Lamb of God. That we was worship the Lamb of God too. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank, you. Mint jelly. thank you thank you mint oh, jelly oh, is man. green obviously and it's what you use when you're when you're eating lamb it's oh, just Easter, son. I don't even think I could eat the lamb oh, I just can't eat the lamb See. I, I just can't now behold <laughs> the lamb <laughs> The was is that what y'all said during the prayer? The prayer. You know what? You know what? Did nobody say that? Did nobody <laughs> say that? Why you love me so, Lord? Is that is that was that what it was? Nobody said that. Okay, nobody. so sweet potato pie, Heather, or or or, or pumpkin pie. We had both, but I liked pumpkin pie. Before sweet potato pie, to be honest with you, that's dressing, to be honest. Dressing or stuffing, Heather. Um, <laughs> the precious lamb of God. <laughs> um, see, and now that I'm a to get that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, I I had both, but we had we if we had stuffing, it was with. A hen, so they stuffed the hen. That's what we had. Stuffed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On when Thanksgiving? Thank Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. We had dressing though too, but sometimes we had hens. I I, I don't I don't understand this. Like, <laughs> where is the turkey and the ham? We had turkey. We had dressing. But and you had stuffing too. Well, yes, we had stuffing too, and we had rice. Okay, if anybody here cooked rice during Thanksgiving, I, I, I please somebody say I cooked rice. Please if somebody. Rice, if rice was on your Thanksgiving table, I want I please in the name of Jesus. Somebody had rice. Please, oh Father, we just intercede on behalf of the rice dwellers here right now on this broadcast. Somebody had rice. I know they did. And uh, somebody wants to know this. Where are you from, Heather? I'm from Orlando, Florida. And I'm from Orlando, Florida. She's from Orlando, Florida, where they have rice and lamb with mint jelly on Easter <laughs> as they pack up for boarding school and vacation. You know what? <laughs> Come on now. Anyway. Yeah, she's from, she's from Florida. Praise God, I'm not, you know, it's just... No, that is not um that's not that's not what the Lord will have us to do. That's I'm not. just saying that there's nothing wrong with a little lamb and some mint jelly every now and then. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Terrence, <Yeah>. whatever. <laughs> he said I should have hung with you more in college. <laughs> yeah. I thought, hey, you done went on several vacations, had lamb with mint jelly. <laughs> Went to all the debutante balls you could handle. Everything. You're like, it would have been all good. It would have been okay, all good. Okay. Your husband's from Jacksonville. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yes. Florida. Ask him, did he have lamb and mint jelly on Easter? That would be nice to know. He didn't. But you don't oh, know that. Oh, you don't know if your uncle had. You don't know if your uncle had that. He didn't have that on Easter. He was worshiping. He was worshiping. He was worshiping the lamb. He was worshiping the lamb. Huh? No, not no. putting, not not smothering lint, mint jelly on the lamb. You know oh, what? Smother lint, <laughs> mint jelly on the lamb right now. You know what? No, Heather. <laughs> A pound mint jelly sandwich. <laughs> 
Exactly. See, I mean, what, so you're saying. saying to me that it was not typical to have the types of food that I had. Okay. What about, because we've had this debate as well, carrot what? salad. Yeah, yeah. Carrot salad. Never, I've never had carrot salad to this very never had carrot salad. I've never had carrot salad. And she said he has not. So it was your neck of the woods, Heather, where they were doing all of I should have came, I should have moved the, the your area and experienced more. You know what? Because no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. So yeah, okay. carrot salad, no. Walled off salad. Now I've actually had that and it is very good. I'm sure carrot salad is wonderful. We're just growing up. I never had anybody present carrot salad to me. It was good. Okay. We had regular salad, gardened salad. <laughs> you know what I'm mad with you? Gardened salad. With French, with French or ranch dressing. <laughs> What kind of, what kind of, oh, wait, 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 Heather, 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 whoa, who? <laughs> <laughs> Heather. Yes? How often do you guys have whole crabs cooked in your home? How, See, how, I, we, I didn't know we had, why are you, why are you hitting below the belt tonight? How, that, how often? How often? How often, every, Heather? Every Friday night. How many, how many crabs, whole ones, whole big crabs? Um, like maybe two bag full. Blue, blue, blue crabs? Blue, 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 blue crabs. And yeah. she says that's typical. She says that's, that's. But you're from Florida. You eat crabs. Everybody ate them every Friday, Heather. Everybody ate them every Friday. Everybody in my space did. Because half of them were at my house. Yes, you know why they were? Because these are the same people who had carrot salad along with lamb and mint jelly. And we're packing for the debutante ball in boarding school. Like that's you know what? I'm done. <laughs> mm hmm Yup. Bama great. <laughs> there you go, Bama. <laughs> you know what? I got Bama. I got I got some I got some Bama great in it. <laughs> it's affordable. We like that. We like you that. never saw a crab until after college. There you go. Thank you. She had them every Friday. Blue yeah, crab. We had them every, we had them. crab. Yeah, we had them. And, and if and if it wasn't a crab, it was it was some shrimp or something. <laughs> it, was, it was something. Mm. I mean, the closest closest thing I got to seafood <laughs> is uh, my grandmother used to bake like perch all the time, and my uncle he went fishing for catfish. Yeah. So. Oh. And that's why I didn't eat fish because I don't like either one of those. So I, I would, you know, catfish or or perch in the oven, or somebody would fry something. But we didn't. Nobody. I not. I, I never even saw a shrimp. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I'm I'm sitting here thinking right now. Lord, I don't even think. I don't even think I saw. a Jackie, what? <laughs> I don't think I saw a shrimp. Now I'm. I'm. This is. I'm having. Come a on rhyme. now. This is Rhema. <laughs> no. No. I don't think I did. I'm honest. I'm, I'm honestly saying I don't think I saw that type of seafood anywhere in my vicinity. Uh, shrimp and crab and crab legs and whole crab and lamb and lobster. Heather, was it? It was lobster too. It was, yeah, not often, but we did have uh, lobster. No, no, no. We no. had lobster tails. We. We we did. Hi, Sharita. Thank you for joining us. Come on now, Heather. So you're yeah. telling me that you feel like it's typical. Yeah. It is typical. I do. For family for a fam. For, uh, I not. I don't. <laughs> See my eye. <aunt. laughs> so you are correct. I mean, and I know here's the thing. Everybody grows up differently. We're just we're enjoying just the debate of it all because this is yeah. the stuff we do in the car. We do it in the grocery store. You know, I walk past the crab and go, you know, I'm you know, I just we understand that uh, we do it every Friday at nine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you know, it's just 
let me say this. Yes, thank you, Terrence. Come on back next week. It's good to see you. Join us. It's just a good, fun time that we're having. And we talk about something new every Friday. Yes. Uh, you know, we bring up things, discussions, debates to see what you guys uh, think and what your experiences have been. So we ask you guys as much as you can, come back and just chime in and let us know what you're thinking. But thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, here's the deal. We know... I, I know, you know, that everybody grew up differently. You know, yes. everybody had a different, um, a different, you know, experience because my experience was nothing like Heather's, nothing. I, you know, I had my own experiences. You know, I went to school. I didn't go to boarding school. There's nobody on my family tree that went to boarding school. <laughs> There's nobody on my block that went to boarding school. There's nobody in my DNA that went to boarding school. You know, we had a few who were privileged enough to go to private school. Yeah. But that was a few, only a few. You know, so you know, I didn't have that opportunity. You know, <laughs> I didn't have that opportunity like that. We walked to school. You know, I, I put my book bag on every day. I walked to school, came home all the way through high school, you know, and you know, the there were no Debs around. There weren't Debs. We didn't have Debs. Debs. <laughs> we didn't have Debs. There was no Debs around. It was just, it was just you got prom and you got a driver's license. Like if you you got a driver's license, that's your coming out. But after they got done telling what you better not do in that car, you better not speed, you better not run over, you better pay attention, you better not ride nobody. By the time you got done that, it wasn't even really no no party no more. It wasn't even <laughs> So yeah, no, we. <laughs> so that was all coming out. You get a driver's license and somebody, and then they send you back and forth to the store during Thanksgiving to get seasonings and onions and green pepper five times. Like, you still, you still heard about that thing, aren't you? You still heard about in that. In the thing. name, in the name. If you the newbie with a driver's license and it's Thanksgiving, you drive back and forth to the store. A hundred times, and you just sitting there wanting to say, I probably did say it, didn't I, and Jay? Why y'all didn't tell me that? <laughs> you know, you're going to go back to the store 200 times. That's how that is. So that was the most coming out we did, was being able to get in the car and roll to the store to get, you know, <laughs> stuff for Thanksgiving, the extra box of cheese or noodles or something, you know. We didn't travel. Hey, we did too. We we did too. Talk about it, on Jackie. I'm right. We did too, and I guess you know it. And like she said, it is just how you've grown, how you grew up is different. Mm -hmm. um, different experiences. I mean, you know, the thing that started this whole pivot pole was the fact that I had knee pads on during the skating ring. Yeah, that, that wasn't typical. Um, but you know, so. It is all about how you, um, your experiences and how they shape you. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I still travel to this day. And mm -hmm. I think it's because of, you know, how I grew up. I saw my mom take us places. So we traveled, That's you know. Right. Um, I eat interesting foods. Um, I love lobster. Don't we, Savannah? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and crab. I love crab and seafood. Um, but I think it probably is because of my experience um, um, growing up eating that. Um, that was a staple um, yeah. Yeah. In, in my house. Um, the rice, I think, is because my mom was appeasing me, but I don't know that answer, so I can't. That was my speculation. Um, but, you know, I think at the end of the day, it wants to be the, the beauty of, of how this has helped shape our friendship is that we can respect and understand each other's experiences. Yeah, and, and but not only that too, I want to interject here because I think it's key to, to surround yourself um, with people who are not like you because what I learned to do is um, I learned to glean from Heather's experiences. Yeah. You know, no, I didn't travel growing up. Family reunion and it was the travel. But when I met Heather and I realized, wow, y'all went on vacation every year. You went twice a year. 
you know, what I wanted to do. Thank you so much. Uh, what yes, I wanted thank to you. do. <laughs> that's so sweet. What I wanted to do is to, to expand my horizons. And so when you get around people who have seen, you know, had different experiences that than you have, have seen different things than you have. Um, you know, and I found out I was a little scared. To, I was a lot scared to do things because I had never done anything. And she was the person who encouraged me to take my family, you know, on their first cruise. Like, you know, I was like, well, let's go on a cruise. You know, I never wanted to go on a cruise. I was kind of scared of getting out there in the water. And she said, we went all the time. And so she was the person that encouraged me. And I felt like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And so I was able to expose my kids to something that had I not, you know, met her, I probably may not have done. I don't know. Uh, but it helped to uh, expand the way that I saw life and, you know, the usage of money and using it to create memories, uh, not just to survive, because that's what it was about back then for our our group of people. We were surviving. And so, you know, and as it relates to that, um, and I don't know where Heather went. I think she left me here. So she's going to let me close out and give the benediction. Um, so <laughs> so I think with that, I'll say this, um, that you know, um, I learned a lot from her and was able to uh, just be uh, be better, be greater, be more. And so I think I encourage you guys to do the same. You know, if you have people around you and they've done things you haven't done, they've been places you haven't been, they have they've had experiences you haven't haven't had. You know, allow 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 those experience to, experiences to influence you positively. Um, allow those experiences to bring you to a higher place. Um, I've tried things I just would not have tried because of her. We were zip lining on my, <laughs> on my what, what, what birthday? Your birthday. Yeah, we Last were zip lining. She's like, let's just zip line. Oh my God. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh. But I did it. And so I was able to, you know, conquer that fear, do something I had never done before, you know get on a plane, go to, I've been on a plane many times with her now. Um, and because I just was always too afraid to go anywhere. And so I really, you know, I encourage you guys to, you know, um, to not only surround yourself with people who've been where you've been and, and have done what you've done, because uh, it just blesses you and expand, expands the way you see life. And even though we we haven't had the same experiences, we enjoy each, other, each other's company. Yes. You know, we we're always arguing about something like this right here, yes. uh, but it's always fun and fun and love. But we're always debating about something. But you know, exactly. it's all fun and something that you know we just learn to enjoy from one another. So, definitely, definitely. Well, so at the end of the day, the question is. About the pivot poll, who, if anybody, needs to pivot? So do you think that I need to pivot or do you think that Andretta needs to pivot? And what we mean by that is the experiences, family experiences is what this was, typical or not. So do you feel, cast your vote, do you think that those experiences that we talked about, that I specifically talked about, are typical or not? Yes no. or no? No. What say? Well, I didn't say you. Oh, but no, we know you said no. It's not my turn. It's not my turn. About, um, not not you. Not, not you. Okay. The other, other people. Yeah. The other people who happen <laughs> to be on here right now. <laughs> <laughs> who most of them have already said uh, no that this tip it was not typical. But I'm just trying to see if there's a lonely person. There's one person who feels. For me that this was typical okay miss miss jackie says no thank thank thanks auntie jackie <laughs> <laughs> exactly 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 and some of some of these we we just end up being in the places where we realize hey it may not be typical um be you, be you the world with your experience to make us all better. No pivot necessary, just understanding. And I was about to say that. Yeah, that's so good. Absolutely. That's good. That's good. That's You're good. So <laughs> that's good. That's good. This. this has been a great, our, this is our first show, guys. Um, our first broadcast together. Um, we yes. just wanted to get on here and 
um, and to just talk and share. We will do some, you know, some things that are lighthearted, much of like uh, things that are lighthearted, but we'll definitely be on here sharing some relevant things, some topics uh, that mean a lot to us both. Um, yeah. And asking you to share and chime in as we, and each Friday we'll do a new subject. And so this is fun. I enjoy doing something oh, fun. You yeah. know, both of us are in ministry. And ministry can, you know, you're just in ministry, you hallelujah, praying. And, you know, you just need to do something fun and enjoy and laugh and, and just be silly sometimes and yes. just enjoy one another's company, nice, clean, fun and laughter and joy. And so that's what we want this to be um, for us all to come in and just laugh and chat and talk together and to hear Oh, what you guys have to say as yes. well. Yes. So thank you guys for joining the Pivot Poll. And we look forward to seeing you next Friday at 9 p.m. See you then. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.